If you're a long-time zombie player like myself, then there's something that I'm sure you've noticed. It's been an issue going on for almost 10 years, and it's seemingly only gotten worse. And it's in every Treyarch game since Black Ops 2. And it's a symptom of a larger problem with gaming as a whole. It's the speed. The game is just going too fast. What I mean by this is the pace of the game mode as a whole, not just the zombies. Over time, the zombies themselves have not only begun to act faster, but spawn, move, run, hit, everything is being sped up to a degree to where now, well, the game mode is downright unbalanced and unbearable at points. When Zombies was first introduced, the game mode was slow and methodical. As Nox's concept was a horde mode, a holdout from the slowly approaching undead. Over time, the zombies began to pick up in speed, but they would always spawn away from the building, giving the player a bit of a breather in between rounds. The devs realized how slow the game mode felt, so that in their follow-up, Verrucked, the zombies would have super sprinters that would charge the player. And with the map's layout being far more close quarters, the mode felt a lot more hectic. Perhaps too hectic. The developers went too far in the other direction. This being the first DLC map, it's expected that there'd be some kinks to work out in the mode. For the next map, these super or verrucked sprinters, as they have come to be known, were removed. Both Shinonuma and Darice would have a more balanced speed of gameplay, as well as zombies. This slow ramping up of difficulty carried into Black Ops 1 perfectly. All of the maps, no matter how different, would always have a good sense of game flow and progression. Black Ops 2 is where things began to change. It all started with Transit. You see, this map was big. Very big. So in order for the game flow to be kept in line with the previous maps, a despawn mechanic was created. Where if a player left a certain location, no matter the round, the zombies would despawn and respawn in the area close to where the player landed. This in and of itself isn't necessarily the problem, as it works as intended. The issue is that if any of the zombies are damaged or made into a crawler, they die out when left too far behind. This was a major annoyance that players at the time brought up, how something established from World at War Knocked was now changed. To most, it was just another issue players lumped into the growing hatred for transit at the time. Here is where we hit the wall, so to speak, where everything comes crashing down at the weight of this issue. Black Ops 3. Many players have questioned why I don't like this game, and surprisingly, it has nothing to do with the maps. Not the weapons, or heck, even the gums. It's the zombie AI. The godforsaken hit speed. This is something that when I played for the first time, I couldn't believe how badly they had messed it up. I completely quit the game shortly after launch and didn't return until Zetsubo. During that time frame, they had released a patch that would slow down the hit speed of the zombies. It didn't do anything to help. I've tested this. Meticulously. Because for years, I've complained how awful this game AI feels to fight. And it's all because of this broken hit speed. One zombie in Black Ops 3 can down you with Jug in 2.4 seconds. 2.4 seconds! That is one single zombie. But in normal gameplay, you won't be fighting just one zombie, will you? Two? That's 1.2 seconds. Three? That's 0 0.6. I'm getting old, dang it. Sometimes I can't even react that fast. The problem is that there is no longer a delay between swipes. Even the animation doesn't matter. They will simply cancel the animation of the hit and keep on going to town on you. This is why I hate Black Ops 3. This is why I can't stand it. Because this is a problem that every map suffers from. There's no escaping it. And the devs knew this was a problem. That's why they created a perk like Widow's Wine. Even still, with that perk, as well as the hit speed nerf, the game is still an absolute nightmare. I can never seem to play this game casually. It's like I'm sweating in a COD tournament, but for zombies. 
This issue adds so much to the speed of the game, because the zombies hit you as fast on early rounds as the later ones. It just encourages the player to blow through as many doors as humanly possible, which just incentivizes the mass use of cheap gobblegums to skip the progression of the game entirely. Shopping free and perkaholic are the bane of my existence, doing nothing but eroding away what little gameplay progression BO3 had left. Now, BO4 might be different, but that doesn't mean it fixed the problems. Because while the zombies don't hit as fast, thankfully, they certainly still move as fast. The rounds can go by extremely quickly, and every map in the game, zombies only spawn and localize to the player. This may cut down on the wait time in early rounds, but therein lies the problem. Early rounds go by faster and faster, and by the time you reach the teens, the mode is as fast as the 30s were in Black Ops 1. Everything is spawned in so close to you, it feels like you're being smothered on close quarters areas of some of the maps. But the biggest problem in BO4 is what happens when you reach round 55. You remember those Varuk sprinters? Well, say hello to them again, but this time, because the AI is made to do everything faster and with no downtime, they can hit you while moving. So that means you better start moving faster than they can. AKA, if you want to train on high rounds, you're gonna have to use stamina up. The super sprinters for most are a massive deterrent in going for high rounds in this game. And to an extent, I'm one of them. High rounds was about patience the skill and precision to get there, and the will to keep yourself in a game with a consistent strategy. But because of the super sprinters, you have to completely change your strategy when the 50s show up. Zombies in the beginning had a slow, rising tension. The atmosphere and aesthetics played a lot into this and gave the mode its tone and fear factor. Now, zombies doesn't even feel like it has any kind of tone or aesthetics. It just feels cheap and hollow. The Cold War maps added so much to that with their really boring and bland art design. So when the game doesn't really feel like zombies, and on top of that, it doesn't really play like it, it's as if it's a mode trying to pass itself off as real zombies when it isn't. The zombie mode just blows by. The rounds are so quick, and the game mode just feels like it's on two times speed. And that doesn't even include the rampage inducer. But if the super sprinters were a problem, now not only do the early rounds go by even faster than they did before, but the zombies do more damage over time. So why bother trying to take it slow? Why get into the mode or the map like the good old days? Just blow through everything as fast as possible, open the door to get to Jug, and buy armor as fast as you can. This just leads more and more into the idea that the attention spans are getting shorter and shorter. Really, honestly, compare how long it takes to get to round 10 in World at War and then in Cold War. The classic games had that immersion to them that the newer games just lack. You don't feel like you're in a survival situation holding out against the slowly growing undead horde. Now it's just a fast arcadey mode that is on the same level of depth and immersion as Dead Ops. Not to knock that mode or anything, but take Kino in Black Ops 1. How the first few rounds were spent slowly building up your points in the dark and dingy spawn room, hearing the soft melody of Damned setting the eerie mood of the map. And then you slowly make your way throughout the map, looking for the box to grant you a lucky weapon before all the zombies began to pick up speed. Now, you just spawn in from a helicopter on a bland looking map with a bowie knife and already holding an assault rifle while a bunch of dummies blather on in your ear about a generic story that's just told to you rather than you exploring and discovering it yourself. If the devs want to help make zombies regain its own identity again, then let up on the gas for the beginning of the game. Letting the players learn, discover, and uncover for themselves, along with winding down the speed of not just the mode, but the zombies themselves. It will go a long way as to bringing back a lot of the progression the mode once had, back into it. One of the biggest worries I have is that we've gotten too far with this, meaning that they've sped up the game mode so much with the hit speed, the spawn rate, and the movement that at this point they won't ever go back. If the mode were to revert back to the speed it even had in Black Ops 2, I feel that players would complain that the mode is too boring. So I think they need to begin slowly walking it back incrementally, getting rid of the high round super sprinters for one. At least that will give some consistency to the game. 
but we have to remember that the player themselves have also been sped up. I always hated Tax Sprint, ever since it was implemented in Modern Warfare 2019. So here's the solution I think would actually make sense for zombies. Just don't have Tax Sprint in the game mode until you buy Stamina Up. Then your sprint is always the Tax Sprint speed. This will at least have some level of progression in the game, and the speed of the player increases at a more reasonable pace. Otherwise, I'm worried how quickly Treyarch's game is going to be, and how fast it's going to die when it comes out later this year.